Hello Taurus, this is your X reading for the 17th through the 23rd. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you're new, welcome to the channel. <clears throat> Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what kind of relationship you guys had in the past. Hmm. 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 <laughs> now this is this is one where I feel like the relationship had the potential to be something very long lasting, something that could be a very happy, very fulfilling. Um, but I feel like <laughs> you, my Taurus friends probably were kicking against um, the whole being locked in, being in 100% is what I'm feeling. I, I feel like it was like a struggle for you guys um, to be there for some reason. reason. Let's see. But the other person, um, hmm. I think they wanted it a little more than you did. I think that you tried, and I think it was a struggle for you. Um, you probably have Leo in your chart somewhere, or this is a Leo that you are dealing with. Let's see how you actually viewed the relationship. Hmm. I feel like things were very unclear for you. I think that maybe you were hiding a lot. You really didn't reveal um, your feelings a whole lot with this individual. But I get the feeling that you wanted to. There was something that was holding you back, I feel. Let's see how the other person viewed the relationship. They were investing in it. They saw some long-term um, benefit from this relationship. This person probably felt like you guys would end up getting married even um, because they were they were all in, I feel. I feel like they invested not only emotion, but I think they put in the time in the relationship here. Hmm. They weren't sure if you felt the same way. And I think this person kind of knew maybe that you weren't all in. Now keep in mind, guys, that this energy can go both ways or either way. So you pick a side, okay? Let's see what your current situation is. I think you're just working. I think not only are you working like to get your money up, but I feel like, you know, there's something that you're you are changing within yourself, even. Um I think that you probably know that, you know, you didn't give as much as you probably should have here, that you probably didn't reveal your feelings a whole lot to this person. But I think, you know, that's something within you that you are working on. There's something that you're working on here within yourself as well, not only just like, you know, on your job. Let's see what their current situation is. Hmm. I think this person has also really invested um, some money into something or they have started something that they are looking for payout on. Um, this person may also be traveling during this time. They may be doing a lot of communication online. Their business probably involves communication online. But this is also them wrapping up this cycle with you guys and um they're starting over again something new here okay they're going into a new cycle so nine times out of ten this is something that you guys have wrapped up together because you're coming here with an a2 which is a cycle okay a cyclical and i think that it's come to a completion we also have another eight right here okay so there's something um that you guys have completed something that you have accomplished and um, you're, you're going into something new and I see you working on yourself here I do let's see how you perceive your ex maybe they are someone that wants things that their way um, maybe they're a business owner here um, 
maybe they don't budge like you know when they think something that you know is it's just what they think and there's no change in their mind on it or whatever it is that they want to do you know is it's no change in their mind again this could be um a leo maybe an aries individual um does not have to be those signs of course but we also have you know virgo energy here and your energy is here taurus as how they um view the relationship okay so pisces energy as well <clears throat> let's see what your ex's perception of you is hmm. they kind of feel like you've given up um they feel like you know that you're not willing to fight for this anymore um that you're just kind of over it that you're moving on yeah they feel like you're tired they feel like you know you place a lot of blame on them is what i'm getting here for the relationship ending let's see what your feelings are about getting back together I think that this is somebody that um, you guys probably butt heads a lot. But I see you looking right at them. Okay. Um, both of you probably have this, this, you know, this dominating energy or this dominating way where, you know, both of you are very strong individuals. And, um, I think you're still very attracted to this person. I think that um, I think you look up to them. I think you respect them for sure. Again, fire energy here. I think you. I think you want them. Honestly, is what I'm getting here. I think maybe you guys are observing like their behavior. You're noticing some things that they're doing here. Maybe you know they've started another job. Maybe that's appealing to you or, you know, own their own business, started their business. Um, but there's something about this person that, um, you know, they still have your focus, I feel. Let's see <clears throat> how your ex feels about getting back together. Hmm. I don't really think that at this time they are wanting to get back together. I think what they're wanting to do right now is to get their point of view across that um, they were not the one that brought this relationship to an end, that it was not their fault. So they're still a little combative. Um, I think they would definitely love to have a conversation for sure. But I think this is more so to, you know, get their point across that you had just as much to do with the um, the demise of this relationship as they did. Like they're not wanting to take all the responsibility on their shoulders here. Um, this air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <clears throat> Let's see how you guys can help this situation along. I think this is more you taking a look at yourself, um, kind of reevaluating some things within you, you know, because we can't change anyone else. But, you know, the only person we can change is ourselves. So I think that is what um, this hanging man is here for, is for you to kind of like look inside of yourself, see what it is that you can do better, um, you know, to maybe take some accountability for some things here with um you know that happened within this relationship even okay let's see how oh how your ex can increase the chances hmm. i think there needs to definitely be communication here you guys need to talk about this i think they need to be willing to talk about this without um being argumentative without you know blowing a gasket here is what I'm thinking. So I think there's a conversation that needs to be had between the two of you. And, um, but I think, you know, first, 
first and foremost, there's a need for you maybe to, you know, take some accountability for your actions in this situation as well. I'm sure both of you, you know, contributed. Okay. Let's see what the potential outcome is for you guys. Hmm. Now, this says it all here. With the Ace of Cups for them and the Four of Wands for you, uh, I feel like you will gain your stability. I feel like you will recognize the things that you can do that could probably bring you guys back together and you know help you to become more solid than ever. And I think this person will share their love i think they will share how they feel i think they will tell you you know yes i still love you okay and i think you will them too because there were a lot of things that you were hiding here a lot of hidden feelings deep feelings okay so my taurus friends that's what i have for you guys and i will speak with you soon